Galtron again. Um, I'm showing you today a technique I call the Benihana technique. It's basically just a momentary uh, gate on audio. So I've got a couple tracks um, set up here that are all bouncing into one. And uh, through that one track, I can do this momentary gate that gives me uh, like a rhythmic effect on this on this audio that I recorded earlier. And uh, one thing I can do is also add a filter to this. So this is a pedal right here, uh, Behringer FCB 1010, and I've just got a um, audio filter on that. So, um, what I'm going to show you next is uh, how to set this up using a thing called MIDI pipe, and um, this goes through Ableton Live. All right. All right. So here we are in Ableton. Um, first thing we need to create this effect is um, basically you can see how we're sending these four tracks. Um, I'm going to show you my inputs and outputs here. Um, these four tracks are all going to this monitor track. So the same track where my uh, live audio is coming through, these are also being rerouted to this track right here. So on this track, if I want to put this uh, gate effect, what I'm going to use is utility. So from my live devices, I drag this in. And what I want to do is map this to a key. Um, and what it's going to do is when the key is let up, it's going to take the gain down to zero. When the key is depressed, it's going to take it up to, I, I like to go a little bit above zero um, just to give it a little more punch. Now, if I were to just do this straight from my keyboard, what I would get is every time I hit this key, um, it would go up and then I let the key go, it stays where it is. I hit the key again, it goes down. So that's not going to be any good for that effect if I want to do fast uh, rhythmic effects like that. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use uh, an application called MIDI Pipe. Um, you can download that. That's a free download. And um, all right, so just go over here and open up MIDI Pipe. And um, and you got, of course, your donate button here. That's very important because um, I believe Nico, uh, the developer, is still supporting this. So I think that's really nice that he's supporting this free download. So what you got is over on the left, you have your tools. And on the right-hand side, you got your pipes. So right now, we have a blank pipe. Um, I'm just going to call this, let's call this Benihana. It's my name for this effect. Oops. And first thing we need is a uh, MIDI in. And then click on that to configure. MIDI input is going to be right from that keyboard at 425. And uh, we can use this A list. This is basically just a MIDI monitor. Click on that. And that's going to show you uh, what's coming in. So you can see that I'm getting a note on, note off. And what I want to do is, for each of those note on and note off, I want a, a completely separate message, since Ableton is treating basically only recognizing the note on for the purpose of MIDI mapping to effects. Um, so I want two distinct messages. So how do I do that? Um, first thing I need is a keyboard split. So I scroll down here, I find keyboard split, and I drag it over. And Looking at this monitor, I know that uh, the two keys I want to use are B5 and C6. I use two keys. They do the exact same thing, each key. It just gives me uh, room for two fingers to use two fingers for that effect. So back to my keyboard split. Um, 
What I want is below B5. So I find B5 here. And I'm going to say below. Move everything below B5 to channel 2. So now I got um, those two keys are going to still go to channel 1. Everything else is going to go to channel 2. And then what I want to do is basically cancel out all those other keys so I'm not performing this action on those other keys. So I need a channel filter. And right now, all the channels are being filtered by default when you drag this tool over. So I want to just open up channel 1. So now channel 1 is going to come through. And this is where the fun happens. We want a message converter. I'm going to drag one over. I'm actually going to drag one for each node on and node off. Like I said, I want two distinct messages to come out. So for node off coming in, I'm going to leave that as is. And for out, what I want is a control change. So let's say control change. I think I was using 13. And then I want that same message when the key is let up. So for note off, I'm also going to say control change 13. Now, what do we want to do? We want to test that. So let's take another MIDI monitor. And as you can see, um, you know, this is pretty common sense, but basically, you know, you come in and your MIDI signal is just following, it's just cascading down through this list. All right, so at the bottom, it's going to show me what's happening after all of these um, all these tools take effect. So if I hit that key again, same keys, see now I'm getting, that's depressed, and when I let up, I get another message. So now I'm getting two messages every time I hit that key. All right, so now we've confirmed that works. Last thing we need is a MIDI out. MIDI out is just going to be a virtual out, um, MIDI pipe output one. Now, you may need to do this edit virtual outputs. You may, you may need um, to create this output one. I don't remember if I had to do it. It's a very straightforward process. If you do, you just click on this edit virtual outputs. If you need more than one, if you want to do a bunch of different stuff with MIDI pipe, you can always add more. So right now, I'm just going to use that output one. Um, next step is to go into live and uh, check your preferences. What you want here under MIDI, under this MIDI tab, is you want MIDI, input, MIDI output 1 as an input and you want the remote enabled. So that's on in order to use that uh, to power effects, to uh, control effects. All right. So there's a utility um, that I just dragged in there from Live Devices. What I want to do is map this. So the mapping is very straightforward once you have that set up. Um, I'm just going to hit Command-M and click on that gain. Hit that key. There's CC13. What I want is the minus 35, and at the top, I just want a little bit above zero, just to give it a little bit of punch. And then I'm also going to map the on-off to the key just below those two keys. And that way I can hit that, the traditional way I hit that, and uh, turn that on and off. So that way my, my audio is not always going to be gated, only when I turn that effect on. All right, so then I escape out of MIDI map. If I turn that, if I hit that key below, that's, that's on. Okay, and then what happens if I hit those two keys with that on? That's the key depressed. And 
And of course, you can't hear me coming through with that, uh, with that key let up, so I'm going to just hold that down. Now, the cool thing about this is you notice every time I hit it, it gives you a different uh, gain. What it's doing is actually mapping to the velocity. So apparently that, that, uh, that CC is sending velocity information as well, and Ableton is turning that into how much should I add to this gain, which is really cool, because you can get a lot, of, a lot of dynamics out of that. All right, so. so you can see how if I hit that a little lighter, um, I get less volume. All right, so that's off. So I can show you with some audio really quick. I'll just loop that one constant uh, horn sample. So that's pretty much all you need to know. Uh, the rest of the mapping is pretty straightforward. Um, you notice that I had an auto filter on that FCB. That's my FCB auto filter. And uh, that's a very um, common MIDI mapping. It's basically just when the, when the pedal is all the way back, this um, filter is off. And as soon as I come up on the pedal a little bit, it turns on and then it starts to sweep. So uh, basically, I just mapped that to the, um, to the frequency here and also to the on off switch. And I'm sure you can track that down. It's a very simple um, kind of combination MIDI map. All right, so that's basically it. Um, if you want to see more examples of uh, this technique in action, check out my performance videos. Um, I use this technique with a bunch of other effects. Um, I also have a couple other tutorials on my YouTube channel, so feel free to subscribe. Um, also check me out at exaltron.com, E-X-A-L-T-R-O-N, and I'm also on Facebook. Thanks!